we go. What's going on guys, Avery here bringing you another Black Ops 3 Mod Tools video and this is a tutorial on how to get the configuration files working in Black Ops 3. So first off, you want to download the downloads in the description because it does have the configuration folder along with instructions. So what you want to do is make your way to the Black Ops 3 directory and open up the players folder. When you do so, place the configuration file, which is a .cfg file, in here and then you could load up Black Ops 3. When you do so, make your way over to the mods tab, and once you get in there, you want to do developer 2 and the uh, console, and once you do so, then you'll be able to activate cheats. And this is where you want to get into the game, and then you want to load up whatever map you want to, and when you get in the game, you want to do the forward slash exec space avxry.cfg. Now this will load up every single bind that I have in this configuration folder, which is no clip god mode, a death machine, you could toggle third person, you have the wonder waft pack a punch that works on every map, you could turn fog on and off, which actually is one of my favorite things that I was looking for, because I remember doing this and it drops or actually increases your FPS and also it makes the map look a hundred times better and honestly it does but anyway then you have seven and eight which only work on shadows of evil which is the apothecary servant and little arnies and these are all binded with the one two three four five six seven and eight keys on your keyboard so all you need to do is push those buttons in order to get whatever one that you want instead of typing them in and searching for them again I mean you can bind them separately but this is a configuration so all you have to do is type in the exec avery.cfg and then this loads up fully for you now i actually think that this is like very very helpful and honestly guys you could use my configuration file in order to do i guess your own type of configuration files if you get commands that you want to use i have the tutorial in there on how to toggle things and the tutorial on there how to bind things so if you want to do a quick little thing just go open up this configuration file and then add the command that you want to do and also you can bind them to different keys if you want to and honestly it's really not that hard but if you guys did download this definitely drop a like because I did spend a lot of time doing this as I honestly do not have the mod tools myself but I just had my friend 2 pro for your games record this for me thank you to him and check him out his link will be in the, descri bleh, the description I can't even talk it's like 3 a.m. and I'm making this but guys I hope you did enjoy this was just something really cool and really helpful for people and I hope Hope this tutorial worked for you if you have any questions comment down below and my name's Avery and I'm out Sweet.